With the Boeing 737 MAX still grounded after two deadly crashes, a whistleblower is going public to NBC's Cynthia McFadden, saying he warned the company about production problems before those planes went down. What did it feel like, the, the last day of Boeing, the day you retired? It felt like I was um, abandoning the Titanic. After 30 years in the military, much of it spent in an airplane, Ed Pearson, once a commanding officer, has a strong sense of duty. Why did you decide to come and talk to us, to come and testify later this week in front of Congress? Well, actually, um, wasn't my plan. I feel like I didn't really have a choice. Bottom line is you're worried about people dying in Boeing planes. Yeah, absolutely. In 2008, Pearson went to work for Boeing at their massive plant in Renton, Washington, where all the company's 737s are built. The 737 was a magnificent airplane, great safety record. Were you excited to work for the company and to be part of the 737 production? I could not want to work for Boeing. It's an amazing company. But in late 2017, as production of Boeing's new 737 MAX ramped up, Ed Pearson says he started to see things that alarmed him. It was just out of control, and it was ridiculous. The race to build the new planes and compete with Europe's Airbus pushed the production schedule into overdrive, he says. Instead of 47 planes a month, 52 were being built. So how much overtime was going on at this point? Did it double? Well, more than double. You work seven days straight, you're beat, you know, and you're tired. He says during this period, many people worked weekend after weekend as there weren't enough engineers or electricians, and some ended up doing jobs they had never been trained for. A perfect storm for production problems, he says. He sent this email to the head of the 737 team in June 2018, expressing his concern that workers were inadvertently embedding safety hazards into our airplanes. I know how dangerous even a small defect can be to the safety of an airplane. He says he urged the Boeing manager to shut down the factory for a few weeks to straighten things out. And what was his reaction to that? And he said, um, you know, we can't shut down. And, and then I kind of got mad and said, you know, I've seen military operations shut down for a lot less. What was his reply to that? Something I'll never forget. He said, um, he said, well, well the military is not a profit-making organization. What words would you use to describe that factory at that point? Dangerous. Um, unnecessary, taking unnecessary risk, chaotic, uh, uh, disarray. Four months later, a Lion Air 737 MAX crashed, killing all 189 people on board. And the irony that when you wrote that first letter, that Lion airplane was on the factory floor. It was within our production system at the time. When I, when I saw that, that was... Um, I, I really can't say. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. I cried a lot. Did you? Yeah. I, I'm mad at myself because I felt like I, maybe I could have done more. Over the next several months, he reached out to Boeing's CEO and their general counsel, but felt nothing was being done. 19 days after sending this letter to the Boeing board, a second 737 MAX crashed. Afterwards, the 737 MAX was grounded. Boeing has acknowledged mistakes, including that their anti-stall system contributed to both crashes. Pearson says he doesn't know if what he witnessed contributed to the crashes, but it's the uncertainty that disturbs him. Somewhere in the end of my letter to the board, I said, you know, no one wants to wake up one morning and, 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 um, and hear of another accident. And uh, that's exactly what happened. What do you say to Americans who are planning to fly on a 737 even in the next few weeks? My family's in the same boat. I would demand that the FAA, in their role as regulators, go in, thoroughly investigate that factory. So, Cynthia, what is Boeing saying about all this? Well, Lester, while the 737 MAX fleet are all grounded, there are more than 6,800 other 737s flying. Now, Boeing is pushing back strongly tonight, saying that the 737 is one of the safest planes flying. And they say, quote, the suggestion by Mr. Pearson of a link between his concerns and the recent MAX accidents is completely unfounded. And they say so far no investigators have found, quote, production conditions in the factory contributed to the accidents. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. 
and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.